Ty the Vault Dweller here coming to you with another video of Fallout 4. In the last video we finished off the People of Covenant, did a little more exploration, and now we're back in Sanctuary Hills to continue our building as we always are. So I'm thinking in this video we're going to decorate the shops, or at least one shop. Depends how long it takes us to decorate, so let's do this. I guess first things first, we should add some lighting. I forgot I left that out. Who opened this barn door? This barn door does not get opened. Actually close it up. Need the general trader stand, but we're gonna need the big one. And then, like, right there is good. We want to do that, or we want to do this. Or we just want to completely do a different counter beside his. Actually, no, you know what I'm going to put there? Not one of these big shelves. Put this here. Vault tech guy is helping somebody, it's still C. It's kind of like a little bit of a divider. Between his shop and, uh, or his area and the rest of the shop. I did think about maybe we should uh, bring this like over here. We can add some shelving. I hate that the shelving cannot go tight to the wall. So we'll have to run glitch it in.
That's weird, because you can really rug glitch you close to the wall in console, but it won't let you do it in PC. But also console, I have access to uh, place anywhere mod. Because we're placed anywhere here, doesn't seem to want to download properly with the game, so I'll try pillar glitching it. Somebody mentioned in the comments I should try pillar glitching and maybe pillar glitching it will work. What you doing, Penny? My cat sees something hanging and she wants to jump up and get it. Now she knows I'm talking about her. What you doing, you little nut bar, Miss Penny? Yeah, it's not working. That's annoying. But yeah, I tried downloading that mod and it's just not functioning properly. Penny! Penny, Penny. Come here, Penny. What you doing? Being a little crazy kitty. That's weird, it just doesn't want to go against this wall. We'll just place down another one. Oh yeah, that's right, and then you can place items in there. I don't know, it's just really hard because it's, I love do it your shelf, but they're just it just doesn't work as well as it used to. Looks like the do it your shelf grocery shelf works. I think that's about as close as we're going to be able to get it. We can't do the big guy in the middle with doing your shelf, so. You know, I've seen this new game out called Supermarket Simulator, and I got it, and then I realized, <laughs> it's, like, it's like I'm just playing a game that's literally what I do for work. <laughs> I, I always just thought that I thought I'd bring up, I was like, this feels a lot like what I do at work on a regular basis. The only difference is it's in video game form. I like using this store shelving and since I don't really get a chance to use it a whole lot I tend to like it tr to try and use it more but I think we can play somewhere and I'm going to move on here so that's going to be the problem having all this shelving, but we'll have to try and find another item placing mod. We can place like just random junk items on there. And I'll put the gold USA flag 
I shall put it at the entrance. I'll put the Minute Man flag up here. Mr. Brian Settlers, where they're living, where they're working, or what they're working for to be in. Kind of fun to use these because you can almost treat them like an anti fatigue mat. Just bring this thing right to the edge of it so you don't see it. But we know it's there, but the settlers won't know. Now we gotta figure out what to put here. there. And then put a, got like another magazine stand right here. Producing ammunition, that's good, I guess. Good for us. I almost want to put one of these back here. Although, this wouldn't make much sense for a general store. Well, is the Vault Tech guy going to become a Nuka Cola mix specialist or something? I haven't played Nuka World DLC in so long that uh, it's one DLC I'm looking forward to replaying. It's actually my favorite one is Nuka World. If anybody's wondering, let's put like a table back here. So I can put a more narrow one. right there because since we took away his little stock or his little storeroom but I guess to be fair he's got a giant warehouse behind this place now so bro's kind of got it made you know what lad for counter <laughs> I keep forgetting about this this one the sanctuary house kitchen cabinets because that seems to be the only thing that has these things and to be fair there used to be a house sitting here if you remember when we did the scrap video 
if I recorded myself doing the scrap video now. Perfect. It's always good to put these in here just because these are technically canon because these were in Sanctuary Hill, so Maybe we'll move this back. Actually we'll get rid of that. That's a lot better. Now that we kind of got the layout figured out. And we can kind of just throw a couple of these down. Kind of make it a little skewed. So that everything's perfect in the wasteland. I don't know. A couple of lot of shopping cart. It's kind of like he went to town when he found this stuff. I'd like to add one of these to his place too. Remove that shelf. We don't have that have to have a shelf in every section. Put like a crib in there, like just random junk that he's trying to sell. Because he's just a general goods guy. Put a couple gnomes. Sean's crib. <laughs> Nate will be like, where did you get that crib? I'll be like, oh, I just found it in some old in your house, and I just took it. We'll put a basketball hoop up there. This is gonna be like selling a plethora of random crap. Put a nice little smoke machine right here. Yeah, one thing we gotta do is add a dumpster for these places. Let's just say the Vault Tech guy dabbles in furniture too. He just he just sells whatever he can, whatever's not nailed down. But like a chair there and Bro's just selling whatever he's finding on the streets. A couple plants there. Maybe he signed a deal with that girl. I 
that does the because remember the bar owner is a botanist so he sells some of her plants to people that can uh, that want them sign up here. I mean this stuff's on sale. I really like that sign, but I just don't have a use for that sign. I'll put this up here. Cashier's lane number thing here. So I'd like to put it there, but I think right there is better, good enough. But we'll just fill this with like just random junk that you'd find like in the wasteland. Because realistically, it's just a general. seller of goods so this is gonna have like a plethora of random junk that you can buy I definitely need this I completely forgot we should have a fire extinguisher I have all these safety signs up, but I don't have a fire extinguisher. Oh, look at that. Or naval signage. That would make a lot of sense for the Commonwealth to have naval signage. I was about to put up a no ghoul sign, but then I realized the vault tech guy's a ghoul, so <laughs> that may contradict us. Okay, I gotta put a cowboy lamp boop. And just like I said, just fill up with the, all these little fireplaces from Fallout 76. Yeah, those are cool.
can have your own personal potato plant. the mod OC decorator. Yeah, of course we gotta have a guitar. Like bro is just he's just selling whatever he can what he whatever he's found in the Commonwealth. <laughs> That's what he's selling. Machine. Seems like something he would sell. You know, you gotta you gotta fill the shop up. You gotta make it look like he's actually selling stuff and it's not just an empty. An empty. Uh, Selling a beauty set. Vault Tech guy, one thing the Vault Tech guy has that the war never took from him was his pride of selling stuff. No matter how useless. I just saw it snap into there. A nice cup of coffee there because you know, can't start your day without a cup of coffee. Speaking of coffee, we'll, we'll put one of these on the shelf. If a seller wants their own personal coffee maker, they can buy one now. And the reason why I'm filling these with like just the most random crap you can think of is because if you go to any outpost or any business in Fallout, they always have like just the most random crap, the general traders. So it does kind of make sense to kind of just fill this with junk.
a couple of random ammo bins on the shelf. Loading, there we go. I like some random ingredients on the shelf and robot parts on the shelf. Like, he'll just have, like, the most random stuff you can think of. But we'll say he's quite proud of his, uh... His work. Or stuff he sells. Some random pigments and a paintbrush cup here. I mean, these would be considered antiques. They're over 200 years old. Look at the stuff on this shelf. We can put a knitting thing here. Now it doesn't look so sparse in here. I can we put a whip in here. <laughs> I don't know what it's going to be used for, but somebody's going to buy it. That's where I want to put this mini library is with his business. A stack of laundry baskets and or laundry baskets, uh, shopping baskets in here. Or we'll save because you know it's Fallout. So let's see if I have any magazines I can throw in here. Before we really finish this off, we should put some toys in here. Some chalk.
bills in there. It almost looks like a thrift store more than a, than a business. I kind of could see that. I wouldn't really see the fault tech guy kind of just uh, not filling up with random junk. laser flamingo turret. I forgot about that. And I mean, he got, you know, what really makes my day with him is he's so happy. You can notice how happy he gets when Soul Survivor actually acknowledges the fact that he was screwed over by Vault Tech. Kind of like a mutual understanding of each other. And I'll put one of these office things here just for more junk spread. Do some of this low level lighting in the corner here. We'll put this here. I don't want to over light the place. It doesn't need to be over lit. Oh yeah, these are the old fallout lights. From good old Fallout 3. That'd be a good light to put in like the warehouse, warehouse lighting. Are you giving my uh, friend Mama Murphy a hard time, Sturgis? I like how there's zero food production and nobody's happy. 
Don't be giving my friend Mama Murphy a hard time. I mean, it's Mama Murphy for... It's weird that they don't want to go there. No, just wait till you see Christmas time when I do at this place. It is almost Easter, so maybe we'll put some Easter decor in here. Maybe he found some Easter lights or something and he's, he just likes the lights. Oh yeah, I was going to say, and, and I almost forgot, we are at roughly 180 subscribers, which is really great, really awesome. So, I really appreciate that, guys. I really appreciate all the subscriptions that I've been getting lately, and uh, I really appreciate you helping me grow this channel. I really appreciate the comments and feedback that I'm getting left behind. It really makes me happy to see all that. So, thank you. I really, really appreciate it. it means a lot. I want to put the warehouse door down. Put that door there. Sorry, I just got to do a thumbnail. Sometimes I might not use that because I might get a better one. Because when you when you play Fallout or when you upload a video, it doesn't have to do play Fallout. It's any game. I don't know why I said that. But when you upload a video, you'll get three random generated thumbnails. And sometimes the random generated ones are better. Then then the one that you get are you created? It's weird, but uh. Trying to see if I could find the vending machines. I really do want to put these naval flags up. I might add them to the bar. I think they're miscellaneous, the vending machines. Oh no, that's the door.
Hey, that's the Vault Tech guy's shop. And I just realized we got one already, so we'll remove that one. And I think we'll move this bench to the front of this place, since we already have one here. So now he's got like two benches in front of his shop. What a nice little smoke machine. Or you know what we'll add there? We'll remove the bench. Put the bench back. Actually no, we'll keep the bench there and we'll put the ice ice box right here. Or do we already oh we already have one there, dang it. Maybe we'll put a milk machine here. We can get the milky human kindness. Or that's where strong we'll get the milky human kindness from. Even though he doesn't understand the uh, point of it, he just thinks it's some sort of power that'll make super mutants better, but he's like completely missing the whole idea of it. Eventually we'll do that quest. Put some boxes there. I kind of like cluttering up places in the Commonwealth, but especially the shops, because it makes them feel more lively. As for the name, I think we should call it the Super Duper Mart. Even though it seems kind of just cheap to put up Super Duper Mart, but to keep with the theme of the old Commonwealth. I thought it would make sense to do that. And I spawned that too far away. Oh my goodness. Just gotta get up there. There we go. We're gonna put a billboard up there. I just like filling the uh, place with junk and signage and oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I thought I was stuck. That has happened now. Trying to see where I hit where the sign is. And there it is. Oh, 
I wonder who came up with the name Super Duper Mart. I don't think it was Bethesda. I think it was the original creator of Fallout. Oh yeah, speaking of the Fallout and the original creator, I thought that was an R. There we go. The guy who created the show did announce that he didn't create the show to please the Fallout fans. And seeing that kind of made me laugh because I could just see the Fallout people getting rather upset by that. And of course some of them did. So now there's going to be like some controversy with the show is trying to claim that They change too much. But realistically, it's a TV show that has nothing based around any current Fallout game. So, I'm going to watch it just because I love Fallout. Like, who doesn't love Fallout? There we go. And then we'll just kind of put that beside it so people know. There we go. Super duper mart. <laughs> Seems kind of dumb just to give it that name, but I think it's worth it. Super duper mart and Fallon's is back, baby. Back in full force. So I'm going to shut up and we'll do the tour of this new and improved Wasteland Super Duper Mart. So let me know down in the comments what you think of this. In the next video I think we'll do the gun shop and then we'll decorate the homes above and then we'll be done with the two main businesses out of the... Actually we'll be done with all the main businesses because the next thing after that will be the hair salon and Mama Murphy's house because she's going to live in the business district I guess we'll call it. <laughs> Sanctuary business district. but. Uh, I think in the next video we're actually also going to build a wall here to divide this off from the rest of the sanctuary. But that's a whole nother video. So again, I really appreciate the subscribers and you're not obligated to, but I'd really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed and uh, hit that little bell notification so you get a notification of every time I put out a new video. Again, thanks for watching. And uh, there'll definitely be more to come later. Bye now.